To change our lives forever, building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barrier, 'cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It's rap so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Rap so deep, our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world. Rap so deep, our reality. Has come to change our lives forever. Coming up on Rhapsody of Realities, the word always works. Mm, always. always, there's no doubt about it. Happy New Year! It's 2013. Get piloted by the word with your favorite devotional, Rhapsody of Realities. Journey with us to Texas in the United States of America. We're coming all the way from Texas, the Lone Star State. Welcome once again to your favorite daily devotional program. As we explore the January edition of Rhapsody of Realities, the big responsibilities are given to those that are faithful. Where his pride and joy, that faith talks. It actually speaks. It calls out those things that be not as though they were. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome once again to your favorite daily devotional program, The Rhapsody of Realities. We're still coming to you all the way from Texas in the United States of America. I'm Anna Maria, and today I have with me Monica. It's so wonderful to be here today, sharing the Word of God with everybody. Amen. We're excited that you're here, also. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and delve into today's topic. And today is Friday, January 11, 2013, and Pastor Chris. Is sharing with us the mirror principle.、Mm. Praise the Lord. Mirror principle. I'm wondering what Pastor Chris is going to share with us today. So stay tuned. We're going to be right back shortly. You are watching Rhapsody of Realities Daily Devotional Program. Stay tuned. In 2013. Get ready. God will be speaking every day through the rhapsody of realities, guiding you along the path of success in over 180 languages. Anyone and indeed everyone can be skillful in the world of righteousness. Get the January edition of Rhapsody of Realities today and be a step ahead in the year 2013. Call now to place your order, or online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. As the sun rises, a new day is born, a new opportunity given, an opening to make a change. A chance to make it better, because our lives are defined by our choices. Every day with Rhapsody of Realities counts in making that great future. Get the January edition of Rhapsody of Realities today. Call now to place your order, or order online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. Welcome back to today's Rhapsody of Realities, where Pastor Chris is sharing with us the Mirror Principle. Praise the Lord. The opening scripture is from James one and twenty-five, and it says, "But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work." This man shall be blessed in his deed. Pastor Chris says, 
As Christians, we're called to live and act like God. How is that possible? You might want to ask. This has been made possible through the mirror principle of the word. Wow. You know, and people really do wonder, how is that possible to live and act like God? But you know what the Bible says? We were made in the image and likeness of God. Amen. Amen. Pastor Chris says, the word of God is the mirror of God. The Bible says anyone who hears the word and doesn't act accordingly is like a man who sees himself in a mirror, turns around and forgets what he looks like. And that's in James chapter 1, 23 to 24. In other words, God expects you to hear his word and do what it says. The problem, however, is that many don't know how to do the word of God. Wow. You know, that's so true because people, you know, a lot of times people go to church on Sunday. You ask them why they go to church. They go because maybe they've just been raised going to church. It's just mm -hmm. part of their culture. But yeah. there's more than just being a Sunday Christian. There's, you know, things that are in the Word of God that you can apply to your life that are part of your life, are in your life. And, you know, the Bible says faith without works is dead. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what is your faith in? What are you having faith in? What are you going to church for? You know, are you really, really learning the word of God? That's exactly. why I'm so grateful that we have the Rhapsody of Realities because it makes it easier to learn the word of God Absolutely. every single it's day. It's a great tool that we have. You know, I'm glad that you said that the Bible says that we're created like him, mm -hmm. you know, because a lot of Christians have difficulty believing and acting on the Word of God because they think, some people think, that God is like us. You know, instead of knowing that we were made like Him. So we think that He functions like us. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's why I, I think a lot of people have a hard time just, you know, putting the Word of God to work in their lives. Mm -hmm. It's so true. And you know, Pastor Chris is saying the Word of God is the mirror of God. Mm. You know, the Bible is our manual for life. The Bi you know, Pastor Chris says the Bible says anyone who hears the Word and doesn't act accordingly is like a man who sees himself in a mirror, turns around and forgets what he looks like. You know, so Pastor Chris is saying that God expects us to hear the Word of God, to know the Word of God, to study it and do it you know, act Absolutely. it, live it, because we're not just studying just to study, reading just mm -hmm. to read. We're learning the Word of God so we can use it in our lives. So we can apply it to everything that we're doing and have good success. Amen. So mm -hmm. the Bible says that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. And that's what it says. So then what happens is I apply that to my life. You know, I look, it's like looking into a mirror, you know, and you can speak to yourself, you know, talking sessions. <laughs> well, Pastor Chris always encourages us to have talking sessions. You know, and you look in the mirror and you say, I am wonderfully and fearfully made. You know, so then when you do that, you can't say, oh, I don't like my nose or <laughs> I don't like my lip, you know, my mouth or my face or I'm too short or too, you know, I'm too tall or anything like that because God made you perfect and wonderfully. Mm, amen. That's amen. so true. Pastor Chris goes on to say, Now, the mirror principle of the word is that you see yourself as what God sees you to be in his word and then act accordingly. It simply means acting the word. For instance, in the word, the mirror of God, he says, you're a new creation in Christ Jesus. That is God's image and reflection of you. We're new creations. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. See that image and endorse it. Act mm -hmm. like it's true, for it is true. Again, he shows you in the word that you're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. See it so. That's his image of you. Praise the Lord. Wow. You know, he says you're a new creation in Christ Jesus. That means that every day you look in the mirror, you know, you should be saying to yourself, I'm a new creation. You know, greater is he that lives in me. Hallelujah. You know, hallelujah. And as you continue to say these things and, you know, live it, that's, that's it. You're living the word. That's it. You know, and, and the other thing about this is that pastor is saying, and this is wonderful. He's saying that in other words, God expects you. So he expects it from you. He doesn't expect you to belittle yourself. He doesn't expect you to put yourself down. He expects you because you are his body on earth. He expects you to take dominion over everything, mm -hmm. absolutely everything. You know, so some people think that, you know, 
that they shouldn't say certain things, they shouldn't act as if, you know, they're great. But no, that's not what God is saying. Mm -hmm. No, what God says is actually what you should follow. Exactly, exactly. Hallelujah. Wow. We're going to take a short break and come right back for more of God's Word and today's Rhapsody of Realities. Stay tuned. You are watching Rhapsody of Realities Daily Devotional Program. Stay tuned. On the road of self-discovery, as you journey from where you are to where you should be, capture the moments in between. Cherish the gift of a new day. Love every day with the Rhapsody of Reality's daily devotional in the year 2013. Every time I read it, it is my rhema word for the day, which is amazing because millions of people are reading it all over the world thinking the same. I just love it. Get the January edition of Rhapsody of Realities today. Call now to place your order or order online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. Enjoy an awesome time studying God's Word with the world's number one daily devotional using the Rhapsody of Realities mobile application, available for your iPad, iPhone, Blackberry, and Android mobile devices. To use the mobile app, get on the App Store suitable for your mobile device, whether it's the iTunes Store, Blackberry App World, or the Android Market. Download the Rhapsody mobile app and then create an account. Log in with your new account and then make your purchase of the devotional by clicking on Store. Choose the edition of Rhapsody of Realities you want to buy and voila! You're ready for an awesome experience with God's Word. Now, don't forget the added features on the app, your Bible study tool, the Rhapsody Web TV. You can share your testimonies on the app. You can also send in your prayer requests and so much more. It's a whole new world. So stay connected today. For more information, please call the number on the screen or send us an email to Rhapsody App Support at rhapsodyofrealities.org. 